I felt like I was due for a one brand tutorial of sorts, and I just recently received a PR package from the brand Say, which I feel like is such a trendy brand right now. I don't know. I personally see them all over my Instagram feed, TikTok, everything. They are a clean beauty brand and they just launched concealer. This is actually the first PR package that I received from Say. And um, before receiving this, I have become a fan of the brand myself and I've purchased the rest of the products that I have on my own. I realized that I have almost a full face of Say Beauty products. They do make like brow products and a mascara that I have not tried yet. But other than that, I have almost everything. So I wanted to sit down and see what it looks like all together because I haven't done that yet. I haven't put them all to the test and worn them all together and I have not yet tried the concealer. So I figured out today would be a good day to do that. So I just clipped back that piece of my hair that was kind of falling down in my face. We're gonna start off with this right here, the Say Beauty Sun Visor Broad Spectrum SPF 25 Sheer Moisturizer. So this is just a sunscreen. It looks like this. And yes, I did wear purple to match the Say aesthetic today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over the skin, kind of as my primer, but I also love that there's SPF in this. A lot of Say Beauty's products, actually all of them, lean on the dewy side. So it'll be interesting to see how they all look on me at the end, because while I love looking dewy, I also get oily in the T-zone. <laughs> so I'm excited to see how they all work together. I do have this Star Glow Glowy Super Gel, which you can use as a base, but I'm not going to because it's very dewy. I'm gonna use this as a highlight at the end instead. All right, next I'm gonna go into the Slipcover Broad Spectrum SPF 35 Tinted Moisturizer. I haven't worn this in a while, but when I first bought this, I was using this religiously and really enjoyed it. So this is the shade two. This also has sunscreen in it. So I'm just putting that on the back of my hand and then picking it up on a brush and I'm gonna start applying this all over the skin. And you'll see it gives like a really nice dewy finish. Um, it definitely does give some coverage, but it's very much a tinted moisturizer which is why I'm excited to layer on the concealer to see you know, how much coverage I can get out of that. Cause I don't always have amazing skin days. I think my skin's been pretty good lately, but I do get the occasional breakout still. So I'm just applying this all over and then I'm gonna take my sponge and pick up what's left off the back of my hand and just press this in so that there's no harsh lines from the brush. My skin feels very balmy and very hydrated, almost tacky in a way. Cause those two products are super emollient and super dewy as you can see. So now we're gonna move into the brand new product. So this is the Say Hydra Beam Sheer Brightening Under Eye Concealer. And they sent me two shades, shades one and two. I've seen a lot of people talk about this already over on Instagram and a lot of people are hoping already that they expand the shade range at some point because there seems to be apparently a pretty big gap between the shades. So this is one, this is two. Let's swatch them to see if I know what they're saying. Okay, so here's shade one which I think that's gonna work for me. I love the packaging though. And then shade two. Okay, yeah, definitely. I can see what people are saying. So this to me is more of a medium shade on my hand anyway. Um, but I think I will be able to make this one work. I've seen people have to mix shades, which is not ideal, you know, cause you don't wanna have to pull out two different concealers all the time just to get a shade match. But let's go ahead and try the formula. So yeah, I'm gonna use the shade one. I don't really know how much of this to use, so. Maybe that. <laughs> I also want to kind of use this to cover up any blemishes. Now this is matching my skin tone pretty well, which normally I like to have something a little bit brighter for my under eye area, but this is just gonna to have to work since it's the lightest shade. It doesn't have a smell to it or anything. It does say to apply this with your fingertips, but I always apply my concealer with sponges and brushes. So I'm just gonna go straight in with my sponge and just press this into the skin. I do feel like it gave me some coverage, but so far it's not looking or feeling heavy or cakey, which is nice. You can still see my skin through all of these products. So for me, this brand is very much a uh, no makeup makeup, everyday running errands type of a brand if you're gonna use them all together, which there's always a time and place for that, you know? But I like that my skin still looks like skin and it still looks very much like myself, just a little bit more evened out. You can still see some of my blemishes through the tinted moisturizer. And I do feel like this concealer gives a nice luminosity to the under eye area. So it does kind of brighten a little bit, even though the shade itself is not a super bright shade on me. So I really do like how everything is looking. It's very dewy though. That's the only thing that I'm like, oh, I don't know how this is gonna look 
after a few hours of wear for myself, but that's why we're trying it. So I actually haven't used this in a minute either. This is the Say Sun Melt Cream Bronzer in the shade Light Bronze. I've seen this all over TikTok recently, and when I tried it out, I really did like it. This is the lightest shade. A little goes a long way with this, so I'm just gonna start building this up using my hourglass brush. I actually couldn't find my Say brush that I bought with this. I feel like Say makes really, really good brushes as well. For some reason, they always get me with their brushes, which is rare. I feel like it's rare for a brand to convince me to buy not only the product, but the tool that's designed to apply it. And I feel like I've fallen for like two brushes or more when it comes to Say products, which I really don't ever do because I already have so many brushes. But anyway, I wish I could have found it. I don't know where it is. I'm sure it's somewhere. <laughs> But this hourglass brush is a very similar kabuki style brush to what the Say one was, so it's applying it really well. Okay, so after that's applied, I am gonna go back in with my sponge and just press around the edges to make sure there's no harsh lines, but I really do like how that added warmth and even more glow. <laughs> Truly, every product is very dewy. Even the powder has a sheen to it, like it's very luminous, but I think it's gonna turn out pretty. Okay, I'm gonna use the Say blush now. I love this blush. This is the Dew blush in the shade Peachy. I'm just going to apply this to the back of my hand and then I'm gonna take the bottom of my sponge and just pick it up so that it's evenly distributed. And then I'm gonna smile and apply that to the apples of the cheeks. I wanted to get more shades of this during the Sephora sale, but they sold out before I did, so I'll have to pick up more later. For now, this Peachy shade is really nice. I love it. So I just flip the sponge over and I'm going over the edges so that it blends seamlessly with the bronzer. I mean, this is very dewy. <laughs> like, look how reflective my skin is right now. I normally don't go this dewy when it comes to complexion products. I, I usually have to mix and match the finishes. Otherwise, I just look like a grease ball, but we'll see how it ends up. I'm gonna now take the Say Beauty Powder. This is the newest purchase from the brand that I bought myself, and this is called the Airset Radiant Loose Setting Powder. I have mine in the shade Translucent. So I'm just gonna tap some into the cap. And like I said, this powder is very luminous, which is so pretty, but it'll be interesting to see it on top of an already very luminous base. So I'm just gonna tap out any creases from the concealer and just press this powder underneath the eyes. Okay, I think that looks so pretty. Now I am gonna use this powder all over the face. So I'm taking it on a small brush and really pressing it into the T-zone, which is where I get the most oily. And then I'm just taking that same powder on a fluffier brush and I'm gonna stamp it across the cheeks as well. Okay, now that the powder is all over the skin, I think my complexion looks extremely fresh and healthy. I really like how everything is layering on top of itself. I think it looks really pretty. I am gonna take a little bit of the powder and just go across the eyelid. I did put a bit of bronzer into the crease since they don't have an eyeshadow or anything yet. So I'm just kind of setting that. And um, they do have some sort of a brow product. I think it might be a tinted brow gel or something like that. But again, that's one of the products I don't have. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows with my Benefit pencil. Oops, scratch that. I actually just ran out of the Benefit pencil. So I'm gonna go into my Milani pencil. Okay, and then I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm gonna wear the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. Say Beauty does have a mascara, like I said earlier, but I have yet to try it out. I'm just so picky with mascaras that sometimes like it takes a lot of convincing for me to splurge on a high-end mascara without knowing how it will perform. But I do need to try it. I feel like I really enjoy so many Say products. I definitely need to give the mascara a go. Okay, why is mascara literally the best invention of all time? I just feel so much more like myself when I have mascara on. I love mascara. Even though this is a very natural look, I do want a little bit of a lip. I'm just lining my lips with Pillow Talk Medium from Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm kind of lightly filling that in with this. I just want like a little bit of a balmy gloss situation, so I'm gonna use my Make Beauty Serum Balm in the shade Halo Moon, and I'm just gonna apply that right on top of the lip liner. Say has one lip balm so far, which I have but could not find. It's gotta be my, one of my purses somewhere. I spent like 30 minutes looking for it, so. This truly is almost a full face of Say. Okay, I am going to set the brows. I'm gonna use my Mario Brow Gel. Oh my gosh, I realized I almost forgot my favorite Say product, which is the Glowy um, Star Glow Super Gel. The shade is Star Glow. I gotta take this and use it as a highlight. So I'm gonna take some on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna pick that up with my sponge. I'm gonna really get it into the sponge. And I mean, I feel like I already feel very dewy on the cheeks, but 
we're gonna add the highlight to just really make those cheeks dewy for a little down the center of the nose and a little above the brows. It's so pretty. Like this is my favorite because I feel like I can use it with everyday situations and then also very glamorous occasions. If I have a full face of makeup on, I can take this and apply it on the high points of the face and it looks so luxurious. I love it. All right, so that completes this look that was almost a full face of Say Beauty. I definitely feel like the aesthetic is dewy, fresh, your skin but better, easy every day kind of vibes. I'm getting a little nervous about my T-zone already with just how dewy this is but I am gonna wear it for the rest of the night, so I'll be sure to leave a note in the description box letting you know if I looked decent, you know, or if I looked like a grease ball at the end of the night. So um, just check the description box for my opinion on how everything wore. But as far as everything applying goes, I think it looks so beautiful and so natural. I really am such a big fan of this brand. I'm excited to see what other things they launch in the future. If you have oily skin, I'm not sure if a lot of these products will really work for you because they are very, very dewy. But if you have dry skin, this may be something that you're obsessed with to kind of allow your skin to hydrate and just give off a really beautiful glow. So yeah, that was fun. That was really fun to see how all these products look on the face all together. I think clean beauty is kind of taking over in a way and I'm really a fan of Say. So let me know if you wanna see other clean beauty brands as a full face. I have a lot of Kosas products. I also saw that Jones Road, which is Bobbi Brown's brand, um, they just launched a foundation that I'm so interested to try and they are a clean brand as well. So let me know, let me know what other clean beauty brands you're kind of interested in that you would like to see me do a full face of and I'll see what I have or maybe do a little haul if I need to add some extras because I think it really is fun to see what a brand is capable of. So I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below what your thoughts are about the brand Say. Have you tried some of their products? If so, what's your favorite product? What's your least favorite product? I would say for me, my favorite is still the Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow for sure. If I had to choose a least favorite product, hmm, you know, they're all so pretty. But if I had to pick, and I guess I don't have a full opinion on the concealer yet, even though it looks stunning underneath the eyes, I think the one that I haven't used as much as I thought is the Sun Melt. And I think it's because of the texture. It's a little bit of a balmy texture. And also the undertone is a little bit more warm. But I do think it looks really nice on the skin. So just because it's my least favorite doesn't mean it's bad. You know what I mean? But those are mine. I wanna hear from you guys in the comments down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.